Good evening, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, it's Sunday evening, what time is it? 7 o'clock. Um, I've finished drilling and tapping uh, the, um, the plate and got it all um, ready now. Two more grooves to cut, two more trenches, <coughs> and that'll be it. So what I've done is I finished, uh, once I've finished all the drilling and tapping, I, I took the plate off and I've cleaned up the back, um, I just um, did some counterbores across it and, uh, and so forth. And now what I want to do is I want to place it on the table like it would, like I'm planning to place it. And I'm going to trial out the uh, two little bolts that I've built, that I've made, to uh, set it up in the, um, in the grooves of the thing. So I made these two bolts. And what the intention is, on the other side, here, in these two places here, they'll screw down and fit into the, into the table groove. And that will allow us to line this up, centre it up. Uh, because the grooves are different sizes uh, on each of them, they are different distances apart. They're all 16 mil or 5 eighths, um, 5 eighths, um, Grooves, they uh, they are different centres and different distances. That's why I explained before that I'd made these uh, channels here to take it off. So I'll flip her over. There we go. That's that's the plate. Now we've got to make these other two trenches here yet. So what I want to do is I want to place it as if I would be placing it anyway um, on the table. And, you, and by using these two screws here, I'll be able to center it up uh, or line it up on the groove. And what I want to do is, is turn it around now and place it here. Now the idea of this is so that at any stage I can put it in that slot or that slot or that slot. So by just by screwing it down, there we go. So that we've got that there. Now it's, it's got a little bit of play, but it doesn't matter because they're both equal. So I can screw them down, press it against there, and then we bolt through these, these channels line up. And this hole here lines up with these grooves. And the same when we move it to the other mill or we move it to the, um, the HPM. And that allows me then to be able to take it and slide it across there and slide it across here, slide it to wherever I need to, bolt through here and here with the T-nuts um, and that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to bolt it down and then I'll, I'll do the, the, the two other slots, the two other T-slots that I've got to do um, and, uh, and there we'll have it and this, uh, this plate then can be used for quite a number of, uh, of jobs and uh, it can even be turned over and the back's face sacrificed if necessary. But the real reason I made these was so that I could I could use my use my vertex uh, little vices, and they would slip in slip in here, and I'll be able to um, get very low profile stuff on and not have to worry about doing any damage to the table itself. Uh, not that I've damaged the table in all the years that I've been working, but still, you never know. Um, Mr. Bozo has got to, can turn up at any date. Um, so that's the idea here, and also to be able to put in just standard T-nuts. And one standard T-nuts here, plus the rest of this matrix that we've got here. So this is the third stage in it, and uh, well, um, we want to try and get this out of the way um, so that I can get on with other things on the on the uh, the milling. Uh, apart from that, I just um, I want to say uh, happy birthday to my son. My favourite younger son is 37 tomorrow. Uh, he's over in Israel um, with his uh, with his darling, and they are expecting our first grandson, our fifth grandchild, uh, in about a month's time. So quite possible that right around the bash uh, when I'm in California uh, 
uh, let's say the baby will be born. But uh, all, the, all the best and uh, if you haven't registered for the bash, then uh, maybe this is an opportunity for the, lo the stragglers to have a go as well. It looks like it's going to be something awesome. Okay, see you all.